Lewis Dairy Milk on Route 24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. Radio check one, two, one, two. Jessica's juice is on. Power 1017. All right, Jess, uh, I have a story. You have stuff. You want to go first? All right, that's fine. So tonight, get ready for it. The NFL draft begins at 8 p.m. Yes. All right, that's oh, the first wait thing. Wait a minute. All right. Finally. Finally. And now, your NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell. Boo! Yes. Boo! It's okay to sit in front of your TV and boo. I don't care if it's going to be virtual. Boo! <laughs> that's what you do on draft night. All right. So that's the first thing right. going on today, okay? The next. With continuing on some NFL news, wide receiver Antonio Brown is going to return to the I Bucks. saw they that yesterday, a yes. one-year deal. So wanted to fill you in on that. Also, in Major League Baseball, Bryce Harper, he got hit in the face he with did. a pitch last night. Yes, he, he did. he feels good. Well, the we Cats saw fan it. came out fine, and he says, you know, on Instagram that he is feeling fine. The pitch was 96.9 miles per hour. God it did sakes. force him to leave the game. Again, he did post a video on Instagram. He said that he got a CT scan and other testing and everything came back good. So that is your update with Bryce Harper. All yeah, right? Hang on here. I think I actually have a clip. Where is it at? From his uh, IG where he talked about it. But it was uh, it was crazy. We saw it. And, I mean, it was just, it was something. Scary. Yeah. Scary. So scary. And there was some drama, too, where Joe Girardi got thrown out. Yeah, he did. He did. He yeah. didn't like the calls that were being made. Yeah, look. I don't know if you can see that clip. It's there goes terrible. The... Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, and then uh, here goes his message. What up, everybody? Bryce Harper here. Oh. Um, everything feels good. Uh, everything came back good. Um, CT, all that kind of stuff. So, um Face is still there. So we're all good. Wow. He's one of those players when I like he goes up to bat, when he's out in the field, anything. I just stare at him. I just stare. You think he's bay? I just I don't know. There's something about him. I just, <laughs> you I think just, he's bay? I just look and stare and just listen. Whatever you say, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But he's good. So that makes us happy, okay? Okay. Also, Kanye West is still wearing his wedding band, even though oh, really? Kim Kardashian has filed for divorce. DJ Khaled posted a picture of Kanye on his Instagram yesterday. After these two got together, they did a little small listening party at DJ Khaled's house for his new you know, music that he did drop. And the picture is now posted on Instagram, but it is confirmed that Kanye West is continuing to wear his wedding band. Mm, okay. All right? Not sure how anybody feels about that, if there's any meaning behind it, or if he's just, you know, doing the right thing. He's not a single man until the divorce is final. So maybe that's why he continues to in wear In related Kardashian news, Scott Disick and Lamar Odom both wearing theirs as well. See. Well, they would like to. See. Because they try and get back. See, they are. They try and come on home. Now, what Bill come is on saying home. there, that is true. Come on home. I don't know <laughs> if ever, you know... Anything happens down the road if Lamar will end up back with Chloe, no idea. But uh Scott Disick and Courtney. Okay. Things are a little Yeah, but she's Yeah, but she's leaving it like open. She is, but there's more breaking news with that. There's pictures online. Really? Pictures on Instagram. You know how her and Travis uh Barker are you Wait know, a minute. kind of talking and dating. I mean, they're considered to be single. But when I show you the picture on Instagram. All hugged up or something? Oh, yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> so All right. she's still playing the field. Okay. okay? And because she's left sure. that door open. She did. And she said, the only way she we. She won't say no. Yeah, but she says it, things have to happen in order for us to get back together. Yes. What are those things? I we know. don't know. I know. And We've already Travis, talked about it, so she's leaving that door open. Travis says that he understands the situation. He knows the situation with Courtney and Scott. He's just trying to. And he's 
respecting that situation. He even said at one point that he would love to marry her and put a ring on it, but he knows that there's another situation lingering there. And for now, he will just let it play he out. He wants to put the ring on it, but the ring is already on Scott. Look, so. look, look. So, you know, I'm keeping a close eye on that. All right. Show. Let us know. And then yesterday, a California court has thrown out another sexual abuse lawsuit against the late Michael Jackson who died in 2009 at the age of 50. The Los Angeles County Superior Court judge dismissed this lawsuit that was brought forth by Wade Robson. Remember all this? Who sued the Jackson estate back in 2013. He accused the late pop star of sexually abusing him as a boy in this HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland. Well, his attorney came out and said that he has been trying for the past eight years to put in these frivolous claims and different lawsuits against the Michael Jackson estate and like companies associated with it. But yet again, the judge has ruled there's no merit whatsoever. No trial is necessary and everything has been dropped. And now hashtag Michael Jackson was framed is trending on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. We'll definitely uh, keep you up to date. What about the video of him getting out of the van in the I know, parking garage? I know. We still talk about that. Okay. Just asking. I know. Uh, real quick. Jocelyn Hernandez called out Wendy Williams during an interview. Mm -hmm. During an interview appearance on the Wendy Williams show, Jocelyn Hernandez called out Wendy Williams, who she says doesn't respect younger women in entertainment. Wendy began the interview telling Jocelyn that she looks different every time she sees her. And Jocelyn responded. And, oh you know, later uh, told Wendy that she's tired of her complaining or comparing her to other women in ent entertainment. Uh, as Jocelyn went on, Wendy asked her producer if they should pull the plug but the two were able to complete the interview. All right, so here goes some clips of Jocelyn Hernandez slamming Wendy Williams during the interview. I hope you're gonna give me my flowers today. I hope you're gonna honor how much work I've put out there. I hope you're gonna, you know, not kind of like throw this off outside of everything that I've done. I've done, I'm, I'm an accomplished woman and I just feel like every time I come to your show, you don't give me those flowers now. When you're 35 years my my senior, I should wow. yeah. I should I should get those flowers by you. I should hey. feel I should feel wanted. You're 35 years my senior. Wow. Every time I come on your show, you always want to compare me to another broad. I don't need to be compared. I've I've made my own brand. I've been out here for the, the past decade. I got my own show. I franchise my own show to another network. I have the number one show in the country, and you I just feel like. Number one show in the country. Uh oh. Stop. Zeus, and you got the number one show. The number one show in the country, Miss Wendy. Okay. I want you to know yeah. that I feel like every time I come on here, you don't really you celebrate me. Well, so do I, okay? Jocelyn, because you're part of pop culture, this is what I do. I still don't make that dollar for dollar men make. So please, anyway, shoe cam, please. <laughs> right. Clip three. I'm making pretty cool money. I own my own show, so you should be doing the same thing. Woman to woman, we should uphold each other higher, not go against each other or compare woman to other woman when every woman I hear in the game, especially pop culture, is handling their business and is doing great. I came from the gutter. Give me that respect, Miss Wendy Williams. We love you, but at the same time, you have to do better. You're not in a you're not in an abusive relationship anymore. You don't deal with that man anymore. You should be in a better place. And when people come on your show, especially black culture, you should be nicer to us, the ladies. You should respect us. But why why is she bringing up Wendy Williams? Is like what's going on here? I don't know what happened. You should be celebrating me. Did Wendy... Like, I'm just curious as to what the introduction was. What else happened in the interview? What made her get so upset? Did Was Wendy saying, like, hi, welcome to the show. So happy you could join us. Let us know what you're doing. Or was it okay, like... We got Jocelyn Hernandez. You look different every time. And well, so... What's wrong with that no, either? It's like an introduction. you look different every time, but... And she does, by the way. Was it like a diss or like, what was it? What was the vibe? I don't know. Clip four. Well, I'm not proud of all. And what I've been through makes me even harder on young women. Like you can do better. Now, can we get back to the show at hand? Can I see your shoes, please? If that's how you want to do it, Miss Wendy, I'll show you my yes, shoes. Yes, that's how I want to do it. So you have nothing to say about what, what my feelings. I just said what I said. I don't apologize for anything. This is what I do. 
Let me see your shoes. But you only, but you only do it. But you. What did she do wrong? I don't know how it all got to that. Why, there's why, a lot of why tension. should she have to kiss Jocelyn Hernandez's ass there's, when she comes on her show? There's a lot of tension. You know why should she have to kiss ass when uh, to her? I'm only do it for you. Huh? No, I'm not saying like kiss her ass, but. That's what she wants. That's what she's saying. I don't understand. I'm on Wendy's was. side here. I don't know what the tension was, though. I mean, me personally, if I'm going to go on a show, I don't want to be interviewed and, like, be put down or dogged or called out well, or to me, whatever it is. I don't know what the tension was to or why me, it got to that. It sounds like Jocelyn Hernandez knew she was going to say all this. She came on here with an agenda. And that's what this is about. You came on here a little extra, Jocelyn. You only it do does it to the young that way too. black yeah. Spanish girls coming up. You don't do it to anybody else. Oh. No. I don't? No. no. Wendy calls out everybody, says how she feels, and she's going to keep it 100. You don't. You take it, it so... It doesn't matter about race. It doesn't matter about who it is. You know, Wendy Williams is going to call you out if you're in pop culture. Much differently for certain people that, 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 than, you do for, than you do for people of color. And it's true. It's true. Here, here's a flower. Come on. There's a flower. I you should give me flowers. more flowers. That's what she wants. Good for Wendy for, for, for doing that. It's the number one show in the country, Miss Wendy. It's the number one show in the country, and I would like my flowers while I'm here, alive, here. I'm not going to let you play me anymore, Miss Wendy, and I'm not going to let anybody on national TV or anybody disrespect me after all the good work that I've put out. What is going on? Exactly. What's yeah, going what on is here? going on? I'm. Oh she my came God. on with an agenda. When she already knew she was going to be wow. saying so all that. She, yeah, I mean, that's completely different. So, I mean, you're trying to set up Wendy. Yeah, she came on so there on purpose. So that you're, you know, more in the spotlight. Yeah, so that, that was just a little ridiculous. Here, here we go. Here, here goes. Is this the whole clip? Welcome. Please welcome Jocelyn Hernandez. Hey, she's smiling. Right, everything, yeah, everything seems okay now. Here we go. That's the beginning of it. She's waving, smiling, you know. The crowd is into it, clapping. There's three people in the crowd there. For some reason, I wouldn't recognize you if I saw you. You look different every time I see you. In a good way. Hopefully, hopefully it's in a good way, yes. Miss Wendy. Because you know, Miss Wendy, I, I Here we go, right away. She gets oh, into it. Oh, 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 okay, okay. She okay. must say this to you first. You, I, I want to say this to you first. You know, like, come on. Get a grip. So she talked about her looks and she said in a good way, but then it just went downhill right away. So right away. Uh, 859. Wow. Throwback Thursday continues on the way. Take it or leave it. We do it every weekday morning at 730 to hook you up. Here's all the details. Are you ready?